with Mark. Mark, an another win tonight. How did you see it? Um, it's difficult when you, know, you come away from home on a Tuesday night and and the, the opposition changed six players. And we're not sure who's who's who. Uh, they have a lot of energy and uh, they're well organised. Tried to stop us playing. And I thought the first half was a, an even game. Sam's made one good save. In the second half, I thought we controlled it. And, um, we were comfortable in the end, really. But my only frustration was that with all the possession and the chances, we need to score more than one goal. Yeah, again, that is the thing, isn't it? You want to put teams yeah, to bed. Probably we've scored fours, threes. So, look, we'll take 1-0 away from home. But we can't be as, as loose as that in and around the box. We need to finish the chances off. What did you see with the uh, the red card? I mean, Liam Noble seemed to say there was a stamp in. Where did you see it from where you were? I think the referee got it right. I think the common consensus was the referee got it right. Um, also, Fabian Robert. How's Fabian? Fab's took a nasty one on his shin. Um, he's very sore, but uh, he just turned the wrong way into the lad, and the lad's made a good tackle, I thought. And cleaned him out, which old-style midfield players used to do. So we got no complaints about the tackle. Yeah, I thought after after the tackle that your team wobbled a little bit, didn't they? It seemed to knock them out of their yeah, stride we did. a little. We did obviously Keanu came on, we lost our these things happen, it's how we deal and I was pleased how we saw the game out in the second half without too much listen, you can always get one long ball forward or a free kick or a corner and but we defended and, and to keep to keep seven clean sheets on the trot in the league takes an awful lot of doing. And that's credit to the defence, but I guess you're going to say it's credit to the, the it's whole credit team. credit to everyone. It's credit to the staff, the players, the supporters. It's a brilliant achievement to keep seven clean sheets. It is takes some doing. Yeah. Are you where you want to be at the moment with everything? Yeah, I think, I, think, I think we had to win tonight because of the results around us. Sets it up brilliantly for Dagenham on Saturday, doesn't it? Hopefully we get a real good crowd. I was surprised at how many people we had here tonight. It was a real good travelling following tonight and uh, I think the thing's growing and we've got to keep feeding it. Yeah, it was undoubtedly the, the best support the club have had this season, probably home and away. Yeah, like I say, it's, it's something that's growing. You know, you feel it growing week by week, day by day. You see, we, it's important we keep feeding and watering it. Yeah. I know your thoughts now, are, this is gone and you're probably thinking now already about Dagenham and Redbridge. I know you do your homework. What threats have Dagenham got? The manager's won the conference or the National League on numerous occasions. Uh, he's He's got some good young players. He's got a centre forward that's six foot six, causes problems. And he's got some pace in the wide areas, so big game for us. They got threats um, that I'm aware of and, and the players have been made aware of, but we've got a lot of threats as well. Okay, cheers, Mark. Thanks, thank you.